Have you ever pondered why there is no bridge connecting Europe and Africa? These continents, so close yet separated by the vast Strait of Gibraltar, just a mere nine miles at its narrowest point, a tantalizingly short distance, it seems logical, doesn't it, to construct a bridge, a physical link in the chain of human connection, a symbol of unity. So why has it not been done? This question has intrigued many minds throughout history, so let's delve into the historical journey of this idea. The idea of connecting the two continents is not new. In fact, the earliest proposals date back to the late 19th century. The visionaries of that era, brimming with the optimism of the Industrial Revolution, dared to dream of a bridge that would unite Europe and Africa. The first recorded proposal came from the French engineer Ferdinand de Lesseps, the mastermind behind the Suez Canal. In 1882, he suggested the construction of a tunnel under the Strait of Gibraltar. De Lesseps believed that such a tunnel would foster stronger economic ties between the continents and further the progress of civilization. However, this early proposal was met with skepticism. The Strait of Gibraltar, although only 14 kilometers wide at its narrowest point, posed formidable challenges. The strait is a deep water channel with strong currents, and the seafloor is a complex mix of hard rock and unstable sediments. De Lesseps's tunnel would have to be dug at a depth of several hundred meters below the sea level, a daunting task given the technology of the time. Another proposal came from the Spanish engineer Ildefonso Cerda. In the early 20th century, he envisioned a grand suspension bridge spanning the strait. Cerda's bridge would be a marvel of engineering, dwarfing even the longest bridges of today. However, the sheer scale of the project, as well as the technical challenges of building a bridge in such a harsh marine environment, made many see it as an impossible dream. These early proposals were ambitious, daring, and ahead of their time. They reflected a profound belief in the power of human ingenuity and the promise of a connected world. Yet, they also underscored the formidable challenges of bridging the gap between Europe and Africa. Despite the enthusiasm, these early proposals never materialized due to the daunting challenges they faced. While the dream of a bridge between the two continents remains alive, the realization of that dream is a task that continues to test the limits of engineering and human ambition. Fast forward to the modern era, the idea resurfaced with more vigor. With advancements in technology and engineering, the prospect of building a bridge between Europe and Africa seemed less of a fantasy and more of a potential reality. The modern proposals were fueled by the spirit of innovation and the audacity to dream big. It was a time when mankind reached the moon, split the atom, and created marvels of modern architecture. Surely a bridge spanning the Strait of Gibraltar could be one of them? One such proposal was the Transglobal Highway, a project envisioned by Frank X. Diddick, an American inventor and businessman. The plan was to build a global highway that would connect all continents, including a bridge between Spain and Morocco. The concept promised to revolutionize global transportation and presented a vision of the world connected like never before. Another ambitious proposal came from the renowned Spanish architect, Rafael Vinoli, who imagined a floating tunnel suspended beneath the waves of the strait. The tunnel, tethered to the seabed and buoyed by pontoons on the surface, would provide a direct route between the two continents. These modern proposals were more feasible than their predecessors due to the leaps and bounds made in technology and engineering. The advancements in material science, for instance, made it possible to envision structures capable of withstanding the harsh conditions of the strait. The progress in engineering techniques brought about the ability to construct in challenging terrains. Yet even with these technological advancements, the proposals remained just that proposals. The bridge, despite its allure, was still a mammoth task. The Strait of Gibraltar, with its deep waters, strong currents and seismic activity, presented challenges that were yet to be surmounted. And then there was the question of cost. The financial investment required for such a colossal project was staggering, to say the least. The economics of the bridge thus remained a significant hurdle. Even with advanced technology, the bridge remained a dream due to the insurmountable challenges that remained. 
So what exactly are these challenges that have prevented the realization of this dream? Let's delve into the heart of the matter. The first, and perhaps the most daunting hurdle, is the technical challenges. To bridge Europe and Africa, we would need to span the Strait of Gibraltar, a water body that is about 14 kilometers at its narrowest point, but more than 900 meters deep in some areas. The construction of such a bridge would be an engineering marvel, dwarfing even the most impressive bridges we have today. In addition to the sheer scale of the project, there are other technical issues to consider. The strait is known for its strong currents and high winds, which could wreak havoc on any structure built there. And let's not forget the seismic activity. The region is a hotbed for earthquakes, which could damage or even destroy the bridge. Then we have the environmental concerns. The strait is home to a diverse range of marine life, including several species of dolphins and whales. Construction of a bridge could disrupt their habitats and migration patterns. Moreover, the strait is a crucial corridor for the movement of water between the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. Any interference with this natural flow could have far-reaching consequences. The financial implications of such a project are astronomical. Estimates suggest that it could cost hundreds of billions of dollars to build and maintain a bridge of this magnitude. And that's not even factoring in any cost overruns, which are common in projects of this scale. Political issues are another stumbling block. The strait separates two continents with numerous countries having a stake in what happens there. Negotiating an agreement between all these parties would be a Herculean task, fraught with potential conflicts and disagreements. Finally, we come to security concerns. A bridge between Europe and Africa would become a highly strategic asset making it a potential target for terrorist attacks or military actions. Ensuring the safety of the bridge and those who use it would be a significant and ongoing challenge. These challenges have henceforth remained the unyielding roadblocks in the path of this ambitious project. The dream of a bridge between Europe and Africa is a tantalizing one, but as we can see, it's a dream fraught with obstacles, both seen and unseen, but who knows? With advancements in technology and global cooperation, we might one day see this dream become a reality. Until then, we can only speculate and marvel at the sheer audacity of such a proposal. These challenges have henceforth remained the unyielding roadblocks in the path of this ambitious project. Today, the question remains, is the dream of a Europe-Africa bridge still alive? Indeed, the concept continues to spark interest and ignite conversations around the globe. The idea of a bridge connecting Europe and Africa is a topic of ongoing debate among engineers, politicians and dreamers alike. While the dream persists, it's important to note that the proposal remains largely theoretical. There are no concrete plans on the table, no blueprints drawn, no budgets allocated. Yet the dream lives on, fueled by the potential benefits such a project could bring. Imagine a world where one could drive from Madrid to Marrakesh or from Rome to Rabat. The potential for increased commerce, tourism and cultural exchange is tantalizing. However, the likelihood of this dream turning into reality, at least in the near future, seems slim. The technical and financial challenges are monumental, not to mention the political and environmental hurdles that would need to be overcome. The construction of such a bridge would require international cooperation on an unprecedented scale. In the meantime, experts continue to study the feasibility of the project, exploring innovative solutions to the myriad of challenges it presents. Though the dream seems far-fetched, the story of human progress is filled with examples of seemingly impossible feats turned into reality. As of now, the bridge remains a fascinating idea, a dream that humanity continues to harbour. Yeah. In conclusion, the idea of a bridge between Europe and Africa is a tale of ambition, challenges and unyielding dreams. The early proposals were grand visions that captured the imagination. They painted a picture of a world connected, a monument to human ingenuity. Then came the modern proposals, more grounded yet equally daring, offering practical solutions yet still brimming with ambition. However, the challenges are immense. The sheer scale of the project, the technical difficulties, the environmental concerns and the geopolitical implications make it a daunting endeavour. Yet despite these obstacles, the dream persists. 
The current status of the project, while not yet realized, is not abandoned. It is a dream that continues to inspire, to challenge and to push the boundaries of what we believe is possible. While the bridge remains a dream, it is a testament to human ambition and the unceasing quest for connectivity and exploration. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notification and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.